Mm. Oh, I'm recording. Oh, hi there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so today, uh, I wanted to get back to that short that I was doing where I made some watercolors for. Um, figured I would continue doing it in this series. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a full page, so you're not going to see me doing it, but I think I want to go into a little bit better explanation of what the story is and um, how I'm going to think about building the paneling and all of that stuff uh, today with this one. Um, first of all, I just want to say I think I'm just going to stick with the title Yaya, the Rockabilly Sister of Baba Yaga. Um, so in the first page, if you saw, this is, you know, Yaya looking at memories, stuff like that. So technically she is Baba Yaga's younger sister, so she's going to be a witch. Uh, but she likes rockabilly, so, I mean, can't, you know, you can't mark it against her. You know, it's pretty good. It's fitting. Sorry, it'll be fitting. Anyhow, um... So the basic is, is this is basically her journey on going on tour again. Um, this character was created when I was doing a very short lived, but very not thought out comic on the web called Bloodwoods. Um, in which case she reunites with her sister to help her do stuff but it's a spin off of Little Red Riding Hood that's what Bloodwood is um Baba Yaga is the grandmother and instead of a female Red Riding Hood it's a male Red Riding Hood and the woodsman is literally a, a dryad or basically a, tr a humanoid tree so too complicated I need to simplify it still working on it Anyhow, um, <laughs> so today, like, you guys got to see page one already, so this would be the process of page two. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of go with it, see what you guys want to see or don't see or anything. Essentially, I have uh, an outline, um, so, like, basically... The outline of the page is just a general theme of each page. And so the first page was basically, uh, you know, her reminiscing at first and then realizing, you know, she's in bed with someone else. Um, you know, and then this one is supposed to basically be her, you know, w interacting with the guy that's in bed, you know. Um, but she has stuff to do. So we can get started at this point or, you know, I'm just going to stop talking so you can listen to either music or listen to me again. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's just go into the planning phase. <laughs>
Um, I have to produce two videos for the Making Comics uh, show, so I just want to do that, and then the next video it's going to be uh, me doing another watercolor panel, um, or two panels. Possibly a whole page, I don't know, it just depends on how much I get done today. Uh, but what I will say is I'm going to try to keep Fridays or Saturdays, you'll see an upload for the, um, you'll see the upload for the comics show, and then on Mondays or Tuesdays, you will see the watercolor show. So if you want to see more watercolor stuff, go right ahead. I believe the next watercolor one is um, me doing cover art for Chapter 2, Part 2 of Lake Kiki Poppy, or Campfire Stories of Lake Kiki Poppy, um, which is written by William DeLuca, which is my husband, and then um, the... Uh, and I do the artwork for that story. So, um, the next Watercolors with Pepper might be more about cover art or discussing how I make cover art um, going forward <laughs> from what I have been doing. Um, the previous two cover art, actually three cover art pieces that I've done so far. No, two. Uh, two. I have been hand done inks, but then I digitally colored them. Uh, this will be the first watercolor one that I'm doing, and I think I'm gonna keep rolling with that and then kind of figure out what I'm gonna do. But uh, if there's anything that you want to see for me to do or uh, want any explanations of how I do something, uh, please let me know below. Uh, I should also have another watercolor mixing uh, episode coming up soon. Uh, not necessarily for comics, but you'll see it. So, all right. Have a good rest of your day, and thank you for joining me. Bye.